Good afternoon, Scrap and JPEGs fans. Hey, it's Candace here, and I wanted to share you with you some fun idea that I came up with the new. Um, it is the train track border punch and I'm going to show you what I did to play around with this punch. I think if you guys were on live the other day you saw me turn around and make um, some braces with it. I'll show you again here so you can refer to this video but I wanted to play and show you what I did. Alrighty let me flip you down here. Um, the people that are on wanted to say hello Give me a thumbs up, a love. I love, 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 love hearts. Let me fix that. Okay, um, it's good. So this is the train tracks border punch. And with the train track border punch, obviously you can make a train track. Um, I saw this as a ladder in a page that you can make it a ladder, a painting ladder, that would be fun and um, I saw it as a picket fence as well so hello hello for those that join I made it a picket fence so you could just turn it this way and it would look like a cute little fence you could do a brown fence and maybe do that for a spooky Halloween page. You could even do that one as a, a border uh, for a punch for a Halloween page. But so yeah, you can use it for that. And I showed in the last video where it won't come, it won't come out. Come here, come here, come here. Everybody wants to see you. Where I skipped some punches. And when I skipped the punch, it left grayscale in between it so you get another look to it so what fun is that but you know me I'm always always trying to do something outside the box because I want you to use it more than just a train track and I showed you too how you can make it braces so can you see that Look how fun that would be for some kids braces page and if you want to get creative you can turn around and cut the different colors out for the different braces but that would be even more fun and gosh even look at that for a design of your page and how cute would that be sticking out as far as a border on your page. Uh, let me turn it that way that'll be but look at that look at how fun you can make different little zigzags on your page and wouldn't that be a fun grid if you turn around and trim them off so that is a good thing the other thing I saw the other day is all right let me see if I can do the sneak peek here so let me see can you see it there so what I did is I took my scissors and I trimmed this piece out. Okay. And then you skip the next one. And so does anybody see that it looks different already by just doing that? So yeah, when I did that, I saw a whole bunch different to do the punch with but what I did is I trimmed off the edges here so I used the trimmer but you could use your scissors and you just trim off those pieces and then look at this you have a film strip that you can use with the train tracks so wow what a difference that makes right so just trim off the edges there and with our new personal trimmer it made it really easy to trim off these edges because I just lined it up here with the line and was able to line it up there, line it up there, and then, oops, I moved it. Let me put it in there. So look at that. With the trimmer, I was able to take off that fine little bit and was able to make a, oops, I didn't get it close enough, but, oops, I went too far on that side. That's what I did. 
Oh, bummer. Um, but yeah, so you're not supposed to cut that off. You're supposed to leave that there. I was trying just to trim this off and I messed up. So what you would do is you would actually trim off this little bit and leaving that there. So let's try this again. So don't move on me. Anybody going to try this technique? Is anybody thinking about using the punch for more than just railroad tracks? All right, so here, this shows you. Oh, moved a little bit there. This shows you how precise our trimmer can get in taking off the pieces there. Can you see that? So you can get super close and make it perfect cut. So anybody going to try this technique? And once again, this is our new railroad track border maker. And this is the fun you can create. You can make a ladder and cut out the different sections here and make a film strip. So once again, I just turn around and snip out this middle piece, snip out the middle piece there, and just keep on going down. And then, like I said, you can use your trimmer to cut up these pieces, or you can just use your scissors. And there you have it, a film strip. And we have this new camera love. Well, that's not new, new, but we have this camera love um, punch as well. Let me grab a piece of paper and I'll show you real quick. So the camera love is a small punch. You'll open up the guide here and it'll pop it up. And you take a piece of paper and punch out your, get that out of the screen. You punch out the cute little cameras. And there's the camera. And look at how cute would that be for a border. Let's, let's trim up so a little bit more so you can get a visual. I'll just go real fast here. Nothing precise. Skip a rung. Skip a rung. Skip a rung. Is anybody else going to try this? So there you have it. Look at that. What a fun order that would make. So I hope that this little trick um, helps you to turn around and do something fun with your new punches. If you are looking for the camera punch or the road trucks, let me know. I have a couple left and I will get them to you. So make it a great day. Thanks for watching. I missed you guys and see you soon. Bye.